today, I'm John. And I pissed off Whitney. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. <laughs> I'm okay with that. <laughs> it's High Range Water Reducer Week, brought to you, High Range Water Reducer Flower Week, brought to you by not the daffodil, not tulips. I freaking love tulips. The sunflower. No, we already <laughs> did the sunflower. Jake, why don't you have a list? I already know which one we're doing. Nobody has for your input. I did. I asked for Whitney's right. input and I shot everything down. Lilies of the Valley. I love you. You don't like my even, flower tree. I don't even know what to do with you right So now. we've got some questions to answer today. Like, why did you pick a cool flower like mine? No, that's not the type of question we're answering. We're answering, hi, we're answering questions about high range water reducers. So cool. This one's actually really pretty. Truly said this is brown. It is brown. That is not brown. It's like maroonish purple. No, it's like a brownish. It's like a oh, Manischewitz one. Oh, it is a little grapey. Yeah, there it is. Shut you down. Just sitting down here, it looks brown, but when you put it up to the light, it is kind of a grapey, very Manischewitz y. Yeah, she's the uh, artist Why? there. So. Um, so, the first question we have today, brought to you by Lilies of the Valley. What's the question, Julie? Julie? John Whitney, uh -oh. which is your favorite high range water reducer? I know Whitney's answer. Without question, Optima 256 and Optima 258. Hands down. Hands down. And our son's favorite color, so they're an added bonus. Okay, so. You tell me that that is not your favorite. Okay. Well, l let me let me be the, the the altruistic, the bird's eye view, if you will. It's Optima two fifty eight. No. And two fifty six. They're what, the they're best. My favorite. They're the yeah, best. There's no way. To... So Whitney. Ten days, twelve days, same thing. Same thing. Whitney loves the Optima two fifty eight, Optima two fifty six, and I do too. That being said, there are some great other admixtures out there. I like the Visco Cree twenty one hundred, the Galenium seventy nine twenty. But what differentiates them from the Optima 256, which, gosh, I really love the 256, and I know that they don't, they don't offer it anymore, but I feel like the 256 and the 258 are one of the only one-size-fits-all high-range water reducers. I agree, and they work incredibly well with um, newer technologies, oh. which is so great if you're trying to implement any sort of like colloidal silica or nanoalumina, any of that, like it does not cause any history, um, issues, any issues the, like, on the yeah, chemistry issues. side. Like right. it just, they work incredibly well together. It's amazing. Um, how it well almost, works. I feel like it almost enhances their capabilities. So that's one of the reasons why we are such huge proponents for it because we are such big proponents for newer technologies. Specifically um, nanotechnology. Correct. Correct. Most of my PhD and master's research I did with nanosilica. I mean, that's, right. that's what it was on. But the only high range water reducer that I used was Optima 256. Because it worked so well with like any nano alumina or alumina coated, you know, any straight, of that. Yeah, like it just, it doesn't silica. matter. It, it works very well. Oh, it's beautiful. it's beautiful. Now we tried other ones, and I will say that the Visco Crete 2100 is really good with nanoparticles, but most of the other ones right. don't work as well. Konstantin Sobolev at a University of Wisconsin. Madison. Madison? Mm -hmm. I always say Miliwake. Yeah. I think I like saying Miliwake. So. Anyway, so uh, Konstantin Sobolev did a research project years ago, and it's published too, on the combination of nanosilica with high range water reducers oh, really? and how nanosilica or colloidal silica dispersions bring a higher degree of efficacy or efficiency out of the high range water reducers. Sure. Just talking about it yesterday. Right. So, those are our favorite, the Optima 256, 258 EMX being the most favorite. But there was another question, and that other question was... So Film Factory asks, what, is there a window that the high-range water reducer loses its benefits? Yes. 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 Funny enough... Do we have to answer in more detail? I was running mixes the other day, and I know that you're supposed to get it in by the 45-second mark, but I called John and was like, 
Do we really have to get it in by 40? Because I'm like, I feel like I have to redo that mix because it was like a minute 30 when we got in there. He was like, you totally do. Toss and that it was mix. a different mix, wasn't it? It was. It was. So, it totally, like without question. So I, I think that's a different answer than film. what Film Factory oh, was asking. So me. is there a window where the high-range water reducer stops working? Um. And that kind of goes back to our question, like, which is the best? So there's different types of high-range water reducers for different end uses. It's not just a polycarboxylate in solution. It's normally a polycarboxylate, water, food coloring, a sugar, salt, some defoaming agent, blah, 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 blah. Right. Shrinkage reducing, admin, whatever it is, there's other bells and whistles. So when we look at high range water reducers, there are high range water reducers that work or that are designed for precast. Right. And with the precast industry, you don't have a 90 minute commute. You normally have, if you own your own precast plant, a three cubic yard mixer, that is strong right over your formwork. So if anything, maybe it's 15, 20, 30 minutes at the most. So you don't need as long as of a slump window, right. slump life or evolution window as you would, let's say, with a standard ready mix concrete uh, environment. And when it comes down to it, the reason why I like 256 slash 258, which is made by Creaso, by the way, and we're not getting paid. This is not a no, paid advertisement. It's just a freaking awesome product. I love that shit. I mean, this stuff, literally, if you haven't used it before... It is the best. Like, you're going to be blown away. The reason why I love this is because easy to dose. Yes. That slump, I mean, the creamy and dreamy that you get oh, yeah. lasts 90 minutes to an, uh, 120 minutes. And, I mean, come on with that. When we're working ready mix concrete, especially when we're getting folks to deliver concrete out here, you know, we're half an hour, 40 minutes from the road. Is that a fair assessment? No, not. So I, we're out here. I consider the Optima 256, 258 the best, right. especially for that question that you're asking, Film Factory, because it does give you that slump life window. Right. As opposed to the 2100, the Glendium 7920, Adva products, they're, they'll give you that window, but sometimes you need to put in a much higher dosage oh, yeah. or put it in on the job site, a little bit more on the job site, or maybe combine it with a hydration stabilizer. Right. <sighs> well, and that's the thing. I mean, this, you can use a very small amount and it's it's very effective. But I mean, still, it's not like it's super touchy either. Yeah. You have to be careful, but at the same time, like it's... Oh, it's still high range. Yeah. And one of the other things that can cause that reduction in the efficacy of the product is if you're fighting the hydration mechanics or the kinetics of hydration. Right. Like what Whitney was saying, when we're making a mix, we've got to get all of our additives in, specifically our high-range water reducer right. for this mix, by the 45-second mark. Right. Once you wait, or if you forget, and when you I put that... And I remembered at 45 seconds. Well, you, you, you're fighting the hydration <laughs> Right, right, there. right. And, and it is totally dirty. You know, it's like you get it in there, but you're... Funny enough, 45 seconds too late, and gosh dang, if it is not... It's a different mix. Different so mix. you've got to, with any admixture, I mean, there is usually some sort of sequencing process. So you have to make sure that you are following that to be able to get the most out of your admixtures. And we did a video on the sequencing. Oh, and there, there it is. So anyway, Whitney's got to go clean these beakers up. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ding that bell for notifications. Go concrete. <laughs> Beat asphalt.